we have heard a lot about different kinds of service offerings or the service categories which could be there on cloud we know uh, mobile clouds we know software service over the cloud we know iot over the cloud so what are these and essentially uh, in terms of uh, technical specifications how could these be uh, offered or could be used over the cloud for that we will have to refer to the 2012 document uh, uh, by the itut uh, it was a technical report by the focus group on cloud computing one of the initial documents it's it's a very good uh, reference because that helps us to uh, get an insight into the service categories we start off with the infrastructure as a service what is that a consumer could subscribe to very basic computing and networking resources like processing storage the uh, network connectivity for example uh, vlan or some rules like firewall rules or load balancing mechanisms even the application accelerator services which help an application to run faster by uh, understanding how the application is running and then assigning the resources correspondingly so this helps the consumer to run an arbitrary application on on the cloud infrastructure so the cloud is acting more like uh, bare metal then we have uh, software as a service uh, as the name suggests uh, the provider has some specific applications for example you might have heard of uh, um rasta app which is provided by the uh, motorway police and the city traffic police so this is an application which is provided by the service provider now the cloud is going to run this service provided by the provider for the consumer in the cloud infrastructure so it means that the mobile phone or the laptop smartphone would be least burdened with this app because the app is now being run into the cloud then we have communication as a service uh, essentially communication could have many forms like sms short message service uh, instant messaging um voice over ip um and uh, video uh, interactive video two way or entire video conferencing if a certain cloud is providing that it's known as communication as a service uh then we have uh, the platform as a service platform is actually one level above uh, in terms of abstraction than the infrastructure as a service um so what happens is the user is allowed to create applications uh, of their own or acquire applications uh, which are available on to cloud by using the programming languages uh, the runtime environment uh, for interface design uh, creating and accessing database and then the storage of this particular app on the cloud and testing its service so uh, we can think about uh, using platform as a service for uh, uh, modern day um, environments where the freelance developers are banking on to this a platform as a service significantly more uh, then we have uh, network as a service we all know that uh, cloud is essentially devices connected together so it's a network in itself but is that network connectivity being offered uh, similar to the communication as a service well if that happens it means that the user the consumer csc is now being allowed to access transport services or inter cloud connectivity this actually has a disclaimer that is um depending upon the visibility that the cloud service provider or the cloud service network wishes to give to the cloud service consumer only that much network uh, would be uh, accessible and usable by the consumer so this could include the um, extending the virtual private network services uh, between uh, the home office head office and the remote sites and then uh, having bandwidth on demand 
this is a summarized view of uh, uh, the cloud services uh, which are mapped onto cloud service categories. Some of the very basic examples are uh, the desktop as a service. The desktop could use infrastructure as a service because in your desktop, all you need is essentially uh, a motherboard with a processor, with a LAN card, uh, with some memory, and th that's it. That's about it. Uh, then we have service delivery platform as a service. Uh, well, this is now going to invoke uh, uh, the communication as a service and software as a service as well. So this could include uh, a hardware that is desktop as a service, in addition, an operating system running on the top. Then cloud uh, communication center, uh, that is uh, uh, more like a call center over a cloud. Uh, then VPN, uh, virtual private network, where a tunnel is opened between multiple endpoints over the internet. And then bandwidth on demand, again, is an example of network as a service. Again, this document is uh, uh, is a reference. It's, it's, it's an amazing report, uh, which is being uh, cited by uh, ITUT again and again for their latest recommendations in the cloud.